Oh, whoa, hello. And welcome to Uchida's Tutorials. <laughs> hey everyone, well, we are here to teach you um, how to play speak, speak, speak. I'm gonna say speak, speak. 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 Tonight. We recently covered it. Um, it was a request by our Twitter follower, mm -hmm. Jackal2211. Jackal2211. Uh, thank you. I mean, I know you requested this tutorial, so here it is. We hope you guys enjoy learning this song because it's a really, it's a really good song. Yes. It's like the number one underrated song of this year. Definitely. Mm -hmm. In my heart anyways. <laughs> if not officially. <laughs> In my heart. Let's break this down. In our cover, we, we actually play it in a, a lower key because their vocals are pretty, pretty damn high. Can't sing the high. Yeah. Tonight, tonight is tonight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No good. Yeah, I'm not trying to sing in falsetto forever. No good. The way they sing it, it's on the fifth fret, right? I believe it's on the fifth. And the chords are the same also how we did for our cover. It's just in a different key, obviously. Yeah. So let's tell you the chords. All right. So. <laughs> First chord is C, and then you go to F major, then you go to A minor, and end it with G major, and then you go back to C like this. Like, there you go. See? That's it. Yeah. So that's the whole. That's majority of the the song. The rapping parts. It's just F and G back together. So just be. And then back to G, and then back to F, and then back to G, until they go to the, the verse. Which is back to C. That part, yeah? Yes. Four chords. Four chords, that's all you need to know. Mm -hmm. The other variation would be after the second chorus, where it goes... The feels gonna feel this good. Feels good. That part. Go to F. Then. Feels good. So A minor after the F. Feels good. G, yeah. that's the last chord. G's the last chord. And then just goes back to C. Goes back to the C, F, A minor, G. So yeah. Let us uh, play that for you. Real fast. Real fast. Follow along. C. Tonight part. Same thing. As for the the lead guitar part or lead, 
ukulele part that I perform in like the beginning or the intro of our songs, of our cover. Um, it's the same chords, I just kind of just pluck the strings, you know. You can just be fancy with it. It's all, you know, just plug it once at a time and then play some of them at the same time. It's all like, it's nothing really complicated, just... I see he's feeling it. You kind of just... Can I just figure out what you want to do? It doesn't have to be too fancy, like what he was saying. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just plucking the chords, mm -hmm. and then I only do that for the intro anyway. So other than that, it's all strumming. So after we do the whole slow intro, we pick up the speed in our cover. So I I need to play it in order to. Pretty basic, um, you know, chord progression. So uh, it's fairly. This song is pretty easy. Very easy. It's really easy. It's a really cool song. You will have fun playing it. Yeah. Once you figure it out. So I hope you guys uh, learn how to play Spicas tonight. Definitely enjoyed playing it. Definitely. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. And if there's any questions, just comment us. We'll try to make it more clear. But um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's. You got it. You got it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exactly how we play it too, like we strum it. You just do what you want to do. Exactly. To make it your own, so... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching, enjoy playing, and see ya! Bye! Happy New Year's! Ugh. <laughs>